So here we are at Granton Harbour in Midlothian. Not perhaps one of the most diverse spots for marine isopods, but it's more or less on my doorstep, so it's somewhere I uh, come to have a look now and again. Um, and indeed it's home to one of my favourite isopod, marine isopods, and that's the Gribble Limnoria lignorum. There are actually three species of Gribble found in uh, the British Isles. Limnoria lignorum is the common one, and it's the only one we get up here in South East Scotland. Uh, but you also get uh, Limnoria quadrupunctata and Limnoria tripunctata in the southwest of England. In the south of England. Now, where do you find gribbles? Well, if you look across there, across the harbour, you can see wood pilings on the side of the harbour. And that's where you'll get your gribbles burrowed into the wood there. Of course, it's not very easy to get to that unless you've got a boat or you're going to get into the water. So it can be a bit of a job getting gribbles sometimes. But one thing you can do is you can look in rock pools and along the strand line for bits of wood which have been lodged in the sea, which have got signs of gribble damage and which you might be able to find gribbles in. So we just look down here, we've got a couple of bits of wood that I just found on the strand. I don't know if there's any gribbles in them, but let's have a look at them. There's plenty of signs of gribbles. You can see the gribble damage to the wood. They make a short little tunnel inwards and then tunnel sideways and a longer tunnel and then that collapses and they do it again and again and again and again. So you can see gribble damage to the wood here all along. And similarly on this piece you can see a bit of gribble damage there as well. It's a bit more worn off. Now the problem is with bits of wood that are washed up on the shore is that you often find gribble damage but you don't always find gribbles in them so um, it's a bit hit and miss. You're better off finding a bit that's lodged in a rock pool and then you'll have a much better chance of finding gribbles in them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pen knife and prise a bit of wood out of a, a section out of this wood, have a quick close-up look at it to see if there's any gribbles in it. So I've broken apart the wood a little bit and I've had a check with my hand lens and I haven't found any sign of living gribbles in it. So it's a bit of a hit and miss affair looking for gribbles in strand line wood. I mean it could have been washed up, uh, dried out and washed back in again and the gribbles perished. But if you want to find gribbles and you don't want to find yourself in deep water trying to get to large wooden pilings, having a look at uh, wood like this in rock pools and along the strand line is a good way of finding them. See this very large piece of wood that I've found, very long piece of wood that I've found in Granton Harbour. If you get up right close to it, you can see it's got lots and lots of gribble. Gribble action has gone on at some point. The one thing that it can be worth doing is breaking off a bit, maybe not something this size, but breaking off a bit of wood, sticking it in a plastic bag, Ziploc bag, and taking it home and examining it under your dissecting microscope. And you can see pretty clearly whether there's any gribbles hiding out in the wood. Of course, one of the problems you might have is that wood that's gribbled is often very, very hard, so getting a piece of it can be quite hard to begin with. I mean, you can often get a bit off by bashing it or by using a pen knife or, if need be, a little hammer and chisel. So I'm going to examine this bit and see if I can get a piece off and examine it a bit more closely. So I've taken a chip of wood off this big plank that I've found. You can see lots of gribble, uh, indications of gribbles on it. And I've chipped a little bit out with my pen knife. If you can zoom in there, I don't know if that will come out or not. Let's try that. See there's a living gribble sticking out the end of it. So you can see you don't need to get into the water or get yourself a boat to get over to the piles to find some gribbles. You can find them in bits of wood like this, washed up on the shore. This big bit's probably been stuck in among the seaweed and the dampness for a while. And the gribbles have survived in it. Gribbles, great wee creatures. <laughs>